Hey guys, David Patrick Green here, HackHollywood.com, HackBollywood.in. Uh, I've got a great video for you today that is probably the most requested uh, question that I get and it's also one of the most popular videos that you'll probably see about um, what to do in an audition when a casting director says to you, tell me about yourself. Now, first off, I have to dispel the rumor that an actor that a casting director is actually going to ask you to tell you, uh, to tell them about yourself. This never happens. If it does happen, the chances are it's in the amateur world, and this comes from student film directors who have to be taught something through one, two, three, or four years of uh, their directorial film school training. So it's a lot of filler, right? But they are taught this stuff. But in the professional world, I honestly, I can't think of it ever happening to me. I've taken lots of classes where they teach what to say when this happens, but it never friggin' happens. So um, while I'm gonna give you the answer to the question, it's not something you could, should preoccupy yourself with. And in fact, even if they ask you, just say, um, hey, let me tell you uh, at the end of the audition, uh, when we're done. Chances are they'll forget uh, if you do a good audition and they won't care anyway. Um, but it really is a, is a very, uh, it's a scarcity, it's a rarity that you will be asked this question, despite casting directors uh, teaching you how to do this and how to answer this question in their casting director workshops. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to tell you, and of course everything I'm going to tell you is the opposite of what you're going to hear from most people, but the first thing you should do is put it back on to them. So tell me about yourself. Well, that's a very general and vague question. I would say, what do you want to know? Right? And make them think about it because imagine if you ask somebody to tell, tell them, uh, tell you about themselves, what would you be looking for? I mean, what kind of a question is that? And so they will probably elaborate a little bit. Like they'll say, well, you know, tell me about something that happened that's interesting. What makes you memorable? I mean, really what they're asking, if they ever ask this question, is what are you like right now? Like describe yourself. Um, and the way to do that is to maybe recollect something about yourself. But you could just simply describe yourself, describe your personality, what you're like, right? Because this is a, if they're asking you this question, that means they don't know you. So why are they asking if they want to get to know you? So the best way to get to know somebody is have them share something that's important to them, something that they think reflects who they really are, right? It's not about trying to hide who you are and pretend that you're the character. Nobody wants you to be the character. They want to get to know you because once they know you, they like you, they trust you, they actually want to work with you, they want to hire you. So if they ever do ask this question, it's actually going to help you book the job, especially if you can be sincere and honest and not be nervous, okay? But, um, you know, part of this is really about owning the room. Like when you walk in, you're there to perform, okay? This is not their uh, time, the casting directors, the producers and directors, they're not there to tell you what to do. They're there to see, see a show, right? It's the David Patrick Green show, uh, sung to the words of whatever they wrote on the scenes. And that is the whole purpose of the audition. So the only reason they're asking you about yourself is so that they can get a little bit of insight and feel like they know who you are and not just some strange random person. So, um, so what you wanna focus on is what is your essence? Is there a little story that could describe who you are in a 30 second blurb? You know, what, what is something interesting and fun that you do, something that has happened to you. Uh, what do you like to do? You know, my favorite thing in the world is to cook pasta. I make it from hand. It's so delicious. And honestly, my friends are always asking me to make pasta for them. 
people will go, oh, wow, that's really cool, right? It's something that's kind of unique and different about you that separates you from the herd and gives them a little bit of insight into who you are. You know, another thing could, that could be you, you're an absolute animal lover. You know, if I could, I would fill my entire house with animals. And they might say, oh, what kind of animals do you like? Any kind of animal, turtles, lizards, cats, dogs, fish, snakes, you know, whatever. I don't care, I just love animals. Um, that is the kind of stuff that they want to see. It's something that generates some enthusiasm within you when you talk about it. It's not about facts. They don't need to hear, well, I'm a scratch golfer. I shot 69 yesterday at the golf course at the country club where I am a member. Not so much about the facts, although if somebody's a golfer in the room, they would think that's cool. It's really to see, is there some life inside of you? Okay, that's what it is because the part you are reading for may not reveal much about you, the person. In fact, most parts that, you know, uh, early stage actors are going to be reading for are fairly, you know, mono, mon monotonous. Like you could be the diner at the restaurant who asks for the bill. You could be the librarian who tells somebody they have to pay a fine of a dollar. You could be a postman, a delivery person, a bartender, a waiter. You know, there's just a lot of those roles out there. And so there's a good chance you won't have the opportunity to really show who you are. But if you actually do show them who you are, then they can really latch onto that and feel you, okay? And that feeling of you will carry on to well, well beyond this particular audition, it's what they're actually going to remember. They're not going to remember your little performance because they're going to see 25 to 50 people read those same lines today. It's their words read back to them over and over and over. Not that exciting. So this is an opportunity to give them a little excitement. Again, there's very little chance of it happening, but if it does, that's what they're going for. So what you need to do is think long and hard about what are your most interesting and important attributes about which you feel the most passion and that should be the kind of stuff that's top of mind okay it's it's not about you know sharing with them so they can em empathize with you by telling them a sad story uh, i had cancer and i got over it you know you don't want to really take them on that kind of an emotional journey generally because it'll distract them and they don't want to they will not want to hire somebody that they feel sorry for, okay? That's not a good position to be in. They wanna hire somebody who is independent and who won't need a lot of extra babysitting and hand-holding. And so to describe yourself in a, in a way that sounds like you might need help is probably not gonna help your cause. You wanna make yourself sound like a go-getter, make yourself sound independent, uh, make yourself sound interesting. I have a variety of interests ranging from almost every sport known to man to cooking to I and you know what I really love to do I love to clean kitchens I don't know what it is about kitchens but I just love the smell of the cleaning products I love to the feel of a wet cloth in my hand going over a concrete countertop I love a gleaming fridge and a shiny sink you know something like that that's unusual I just made that up right I don't I don't I'm like ask my fiance she'll tell you cleaning is not his passion but I know how to talk about something passionately, okay? And that's what you need to learn to do is don't make something up. You don't need to make something up. You don't need to have this amazing anecdote, this amazing story of riding the bus and it flipped over and you went down a mountainside and you saved everyone. No, it's just something that you feel is important to you that you want to share with others so that they can get to know you because getting to know you is probably the most important thing that you can give to somebody else so they know when to call on you and what you bring to the table. Hopefully this was helpful, guys. Otherwise, um, you know, let me know what else I can share to make it more helpful. Comments, questions, suggestions. What did you think? Does this sound like stuff you've already heard or does it sound a little bit different from the status quo? I will talk to you soon.